When do you plan for your trip? A year before? A month before? Well, in my case, it was spontaneous. When two of my colleagues convinced me to book a flight to Taipei and join their trip, I barely had two weeks to prepare. But whatever, with its plethora of things to do, Taiwan was a no-brainer and an easy yes for me. You get the seas, the verdant landscapes, the delicious food, and the cityscape. In this vlog, join me as I rediscover Taiwan, one of Asia's most underrated travel destinations. Hi, so it's past midnight and I just arrived here at Taipei. It's great to be back here, <laughs> wait for my friends. Um, they took the other airlines to be Pacific, but our time differences, or our flight differences rather, is only like 10 to 20 minutes away. So while waiting, I'll just, hopefully um, I can buy local SIM card here because we need mobile data to navigate around Taiwan because tomorrow we're going to visit Taichung City and it's more or less two to three hours away from, from Taipei. We're going to take the high-speed rail. We already booked our tickets. We're so excited. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to keep you posted and I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We stayed near the Taipei main station since it's very accessible to almost everywhere. Hi, good morning. So we're now walking our way to Taipei main station. Today we're going to Taichung City. Let's go! Hi, I have made a new friend. <laughs> we booked an HSR train, high-speed railway, to Taichung City. We availed our HSR tickets via Cluck. Redemption was very easy. We're on our way to Taichung City. Um, the trip takes like an hour or less than that. <laughs> so this is the high speed train. Reminds me of Japan Shinkansen. Our sugar mommy's paying our breakfast. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so the next train to uh, Holy Station is at around 11.25 and it's still 10.51 a.m. so we still have to wait until 11.25. Anyway, so we're going now to the uh, Flower Garden now, fun fact, uh, we were supposed to be there six years ago, but you know, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we didn't make it. So right now, it's six years in the making, we're finally going to the flower garden. Changer or a changer for, um, um, for the games? Change for the games, Atta. Anyway, so it's so humid <laughs> right now. This is a lifesaver, but it's only good for one person. One for a half person. <laughs> <laughs> Half person. <laughs> Great for kids. <laughs> for babies. Every <laughs> baby. Every baby. Every baby. Miss you. Annyeong. Ni hao. Huh? <laughs> what is the difference between yellow and <laughs> red lightning alert? <laughs> For jumping, dancing. <laughs> Alright, so we're here at Huli Station and we're on our way to the Flower Garden. Located in the city of Taichung, the Holy Flower Garden is one of the top tourist attractions in Taiwan. It's a must-visit destination when you are in Taiwan. Also, you might take a day trip from Taipei or stay in Taichung and explore the central part of Taiwan. The ticket price is only 120 new Taiwan dollar per head. Wow. 
six years in the making. <laughs> Can't believe that we're here, finally. Enjoy the vivid sceneries of the flower garden. The musical instruments make it even more romantic, although a fake one. We're going to Fusion 1962. Say hi! <laughs> So it's it's like an arcade filled with restaurants and cafes, and we're hungry AF. <laughs> so we're going to explore that area. Go back to Taichung Main Station because uh, there are no food available. We're craving for rice, or something carbs. We haven't had any lunch yet, but hopefully uh, in Taichung Station we can eat something, and then after that we can book our HSR tickets back to Taipei. So we ended up ordering at a vegetarian fast food, whatever. Vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because we were so tired and yeah, we're hungry at AF. So, but <laughs> so we ended up ordering this um, vegetarian um, rice meal, and we're craving for it. And <laughs> the cashier highly recommended it. So mm, hopefully, it won't disappoint. <laughs> I'm sweating like a pig right now, but yeah, we underestimated our time. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> oh my god, like, we underestimated our time, so we ran miles and miles just to reach the um, ticketing office of the HSR. Because we might miss the train, the ISB train back to Taipei, but here we are. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. <laughs> Hi, so I'm feeling fresh again and I'm on my way to my friend's hotel and we're going to the night market where I think of Bravo. So we're now here at Rauha Market. <laughs> They're busy. Anyway, so we're going to eat something here at Rauha Market. I'm excited because I'm super, super hungry. <laughs> Here's what we ate at Rauha Night Market in Taipei. First off, we try this famous pork pepper bun. This was cooked in a traditional oven. Be careful though as it is so hot but juicy. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Next was deep fried squid. Oh wow, this tastes really good. Very succulent and flavorful. I highly recommend this as well. Since it was hot and humid that day, we also tried some refreshments, cranberry juice. It definitely quenched our thirst. We also had Taiwanese garlic sausage. It is hot, juicy, and exploding with umami flavor. We then tried the octopus takoyaki nearby. And man, did I miss Osaka. For desserts, we ate these chewy taro balls. We also tried this skewered dried plum in glazed sugar. Night markets in Taipei are one of the reasons why I keep on coming back here. Alright, so I think I'm full. <laughs> I ate a lot. <laughs> Craving satisfied. Mm. Night markets here in Taipei are the best. The following day, we went to Taipei Main Station and claimed our two-day fun pass. That includes unlimited passes to Taiwan's main attractions, buses, and MRT. Good morning. So we're on our way to Jifen and the Yalu. So we're going to take the um, the red line to Tamsui Station, and we got wait, <laughs> we got our two-day pass, courtesy of Cook. Yeah, it's a two-day unlimited pass, so we have all access to almost every transportation types here in Taipei. Let's go! <laughs> We 
we finally made it here alive in one piece here at Yellow Jair Park. It is a bit cloudy. It's kind of like good because um, yeah, it's been hot for the past two days. So this is this is fun. It's going to be fun. So we're going to revisit the uh, rock formations along the coastline. So yeah, I'll show you what Jail Park or what Yellow Jail Park looks like um, five years after I visited this place or six years. <laughs> First stop is Yellow Jail Park. One of the premier destinations in northern Taiwan, Yellow Jail Park is home to several unique geological formations, including the iconic Queen's Head, and is located along a cape stretching out from the town of Wanli. Part of the Dalio Miosin Formation, the cape stretches around 1,700 meters, formed as thousands of years of geological movement forced the Dattin Mountains to change their shape, jutting out into the ocean. Is it a need? Wouldn't you think? <laughs> Wait, Ursula sing. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to visit Jufen, but since we ran out of time, we made a quick stop at Keelung City, one of Taipei's most important port cities located at the northern tip of the country. So we're now here at the northern tip of Taiwan at Keelung. So it's a coastal city, obviously. So there's the harbor. This place reminds me of Circular Key in Sydney, Sands, the um, uh, the Opera House and the Harbor Bridge. But yeah, so behind me is the Central Railway Station. Uh, we're going to take the local train back to Taipei. We're supposed to visit um, Jupan, but it's already like past four in the afternoon and we need to go back because we need to visit Taipei 101 instead. So this is part of the um, the uh, unlimited pass, the fun pass worth for two days. And just before sunset, we decided to visit Taipei 101's observatory deck. Taipei 101 is the tallest skyscraper in Taiwan, and it is Taipei's famous icon and landmark. As dusk turns to night, the city lights begin to flicker like fireflies in the forest. Well, it makes you think about different perspectives in life when you're there. It's um, 10 minutes past the hour of 9 <laughs> in the morning. It's very humid and I remember uh, around like six years ago I went here during my birthday or birth week rather and it was so humid like 30-40 degrees. Today is like forecasted to be like 30-40 degrees as well. Whew. But here we are again at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and I'll show you around how beautiful this place is. On our third day we toured around Taipei City. First stop was the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. The Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall commemorates the life and career of the one of the Republic of China's most prominent and world-renowned figures. The dramatic white marble structure contains an extensive library and museum. There's also a spacious hall with a large statue of the man himself and a regular guard mounting ceremony making it a popular tourist attraction for domestic and international visitors. We were supposed to visit Malcolm Gondola, but luck was on our side. Hi, so we're on our way to Malcolm Gondola. It's a few hundred meters away from Taipei Zoo Station, the Brown Line. Going around Taipei is not that hard because most of the city itself is well connected, all thanks to their efficient metro lines. And I wish my country is like that as well. One can hope. It was closed for its annual maintenance beginning June 8th. So, what can you say about the closure? Oh, <laughs> well. 
So we went back to downtown and went to Ximending for some last minute shopping. So we're here at Ximending Square or Ximending. Yeah, Ximen, walking pedestrian. <laughs> it's a shopping district, so might do some shopping. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> We're going to look for some food to eat because we haven't eaten our lunch yet. It's uh, 12 noon right now and we're hungry. We bought Taiwanese goodies and treated ourselves with good stuff because, after all, we deserved good things, right? At night, we met up with our Taiwanese colleague Cheryl and tried some of Taiwan's best food spots. It really is a different experience when you have a local with you. This is uh, soap. And what is this? <laughs> For a half person. <laughs> half person. <laughs> Hi. People would always ask me why I keep on coming back to this city. Well, for one, it is close to Manila, it's not that expensive, and the food is just amazing. I know that my pretentious Ni Hao's, Xie Xie's, and Peng Yao's didn't take me to my destinations quickly, but I somehow met kind and nice people along the way. Sometimes, getting lost in translation isn't a bad thing. I guess sometimes the greatest memories are made in the most unlikely of places, further proof that spontaneity is more rewarding than a meticulously planned life. <laughs>